Okay, trauma. You know, tra I mean, I, li I loosely define trauma from my point of view as an extreme incident with extreme emotions would seem very difficult to release. And if anything reminds you of them, one has extreme feelings coming up and flashbacks potentially of that situation. <clears throat> okay, so the way I sort of s you see the ego and also things which get installed within the ego very, very strongly, there's two components. One is the repressed feelings that go with an incident and, uh, and the belief systems that, that go, the meaningful belief systems that go with an event. So if I wanted to release something like, let's say, I'm trying to think of something, you know, I mean I had an incident for myself which wasn't traumatic and it was quite easy for me to let go. I had this thing where I was a school kid and there, I mean, I think this was a, a <coughs> couple of racist guys at school. And uh, <coughs> anyway, one of, them <coughs> one of them followed me back from school and was throwing stones at me from behind. So I stopped and sort of challenged the guy. And I didn't know his other friend was coming around from the other side. So I stopped, I, st I, st I stopped to challenge him for a fight. And then his other friend came around from the other, other, other side from behind me and whacked me from behind, you know. So, so I got, I got down. And so if, if that was a traumatic thing for me, then one of the things is to sit with the feelings, you know, whatever, like, you know, one of the things I do, and a lot of therapists uh, do this, is to bring back, you know, reimagine the situation, bring back the feelings, and then clear the feelings. So I just like try and remember the event, and then bring up all the feelings, and then sit, sit with the feelings, and just feel out all those feelings, remember the situation, bring up the feelings, sit with the feelings, and all these feelings come up, and then sit until they pass, and then again next day, try and remember the, the event, and then all these feelings come up, and sit again with those feelings until they pass, and then again try and remember the event, and sit, and then you'll find that if you, you know, when you resist something or you, you don't want to experience it, it stays, but when you welcome it, it starts to dissolve away. That's the thing. What you resist persists, and what you welcome and don't try and fight eventually dissolves away and loses its significance. So rather than like, I never want to feel this feeling and remember this feeling, I would do the opposite. You know, I'd welcome, oh, let me try and remember it and bring up as much feelings as possible, and then feel all the feelings, they'll intensely come up and uh, let them dissolve away. And then if I do that every day, eventually the intensity of those feelings will get less and less, and then they'll be gone. And then also, like, what was it about that that I, my ego is holding as meaningful? Was it that uh, they called me uh, Paki? Called me Paki. Okay, well, I cancel my belief that Paki is meaningful. I'm an infinite being subject unto what I want. Maybe I remember, like, feeling shamed and hurt, and then the... The, uh, the, the, um, the trauma be called, being called a Paki. Well, I cancel my belief in Paki, I'm an infinite being subject, and I cancel my belief in Paki. Uh, uh, you know, if you keep doing this, it does work. Eventually, you'll say the word Paki and you'll have no reaction to it at all. It's like, oh, it's like saying Paki is like the sky is blue. It's actually got no difference to it. It's like uh, you can't remember it. You know, even people will say the word Paki and you won't, you won't no notice that they said it. You go, oh. Well, nothing happened today, you see. <laughs> so whereas before it'd be like registered as being meaningful. So, and then, it's, and then in that way, so if you hold something as meaningful, it keeps coming back and torments you. When you make it meaningful, it no longer registers for you. It doesn't exist in, in your experience. And if you, if you, instead of resisting feelings, if you welcome them and feel them and go to the observer, or, or, then eventually they dissolve completely and then, you know, that trauma will be 100% gone, you know. Now, I'm not saying, you know, but that's what I would do. I mean, I try not to, not, to, not to be afraid of my feelings. And even images and words that I associate as being meaningful, like I, anything that I've made meaningful, I can make meaningless. You know, there is nothing anybody can say to me. There is no, no feeling. Like, don't be afraid of your feelings. Um, now, I know a lot of people, a lot of people are afraid of their feelings. 
a lot of people are afraid, don't be afraid of feelings, is what I say to all spiritual seekers. Like, I went through, because I was an addict, I went through panic attacks. And you know, and if you go through panic, you know, but I, my spiritual teacher, you know, when you're making, when you're doing, committed to like being in the holy instant, being enlightened, you'll get a lot of feelings coming up. Your, your ego will try and get, will push you back with extreme feelings like don't, you know, have a biscuit, put on the TV, have some alcohol, don't feel your feelings because you can't handle it and you'll die. But if you want to be free, be a spiritual warrior, like don't be afraid of feelings. Like I, I remember one of my biggest growths was to face a panic attack without, you know, eating on it or trying to escape it. And when I went through my very first panic attack without trying to do something to repress it or suppress it, that's when my food addiction stopped, you know. So sometimes, you know, you get this feeling like you'll die if you feel your feelings. If you don't pick up the drugs, alcohol, the food, or the Netflix, and you go through it until it passes, you'll, you'll be catapulted into another dimension of spirituality because that's a, an ego mechanism. Like, this feeling is too scary, so just never feel this feeling. That would be a way for you to stay limited for the rest of your life. If you feel those feelings you've been too afraid to feel your whole life, and you let them pass, there's not been a feeling. I've gone through surgery pain and refused the, the morphine they gave after, after a transplant operation. I felt like I recovered really quickly. The doctors were amazed. And, and that's like... The more you're able to feel feelings, extreme feelings, without using anything to medicate and go through them, it's like your leaps in spiritual consciousness will go like incredible. You know, it's like, uh, you know, like I had um, uh, this thing with trauma, like don't be afraid, you know, spiritual students are afraid of feelings, you know, and they're afraid of feelings, you know, and they, you know, if, you, if you're too afraid to feel your feelings, eventually what happens is you, you go more and more into addiction and suppression. Like, you're having like one donut a day because you've got, your, you've got too many feelings you don't want to feel. In a year you'll be having ten donuts a day. And then in, in another few years you'll be having ten donuts and a, and a vodka. And then in another ten years it'll be like donuts, vodka and Netflix. You know, and you won't be able to get out of the house. Uh, you'll have all these phobias, like you can't get out of the house, you can't leave the cupboard, you know, and you'll be getting all, all kinds of drugs on you. And that's because you were never willing to face your feelings. You know, a spiritual warrior is someone who's like, okay, panic attacks, okay, someone just stepped on my foot, you know, I'm going to sit and feel this feeling till it passes. That's the, you know, I'm talking about trauma, because trauma is often like, this feeling is too scary, is too scary, and the images are too scary, and I will not feel this feeling. I will never face this feeling. Give me some drugs, you know, I will not face this feeling. And a spiritual warrior, someone who wants to be 100% free, face your feelings and don't escape. Um, and I've faced a lot of feelings. Like, I know it might sound irresponsible, like, like, People will think, if I face this feeling, I'll die, or a panic attack will kill me. But I've been doing spiritual work for a long time, and all the people who face their extreme feelings they didn't want to face have become spiritual giants. And the ones who said, I'll never feel this feeling ever again, you know, I've seen them go to darker and darker places. You know, they get, their lives become smaller and smaller, they have more and more phobias, and they, they, their life becomes more and more limited. Uh,